There's no other way to express how we feel right now. From the bottom of our hearts, we, we know that the lights won't turn off. <laughs> <laughs> just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your friendship and, and everything that we've gone through the last two years since we were here. We really value your friendship and uh, we're just going to miss you guys. As you return to the States at the end of this week, we pray that Heavenly Father Yeah. We're leaving today, like right now. We're literally the Manus and the and the Palak boys are literally waiting outside for us right now. But we are again overwhelmed with gratitude and appreciation for their sacrifice and for Ben's sacrifice and for the Craig's sacrifice for us in helping us make our last few days here in Samoa incredible days. Um, we weren't able to get done as nearly as much as we wanted to, and so V is going to come back with Miriamma and take care of so much more than what we wanted to let her take care of. But and then we're sad because we're leaving Samoa, and we haven't told any of you guys yet because we just haven't had time. Bridge broke. Just to drop off the Merricks, 
Um, thank our Heavenly Father for his protection upon the road that we were doing 160. <laughs> saying goodbye sucks and uh, the way we have to do it today is because yesterday the, the airport was all flooded so there's no more there's no more electricity in the normal check-in which is over there so now we check in behind us which is like customs I guess when you're coming back when you're arriving to Samoa that's where you go through customs so they kind of reverse a little bit but when we go in through that door we have to keep going and uh, go to the gate and stuff so we're going to we're definitely not happy about saying goodbye out here to everybody, but here we go.
Samoa means a lot to us. The people of Samoa, our friends. They mean even more. The family we've made here. All of you guys. We hope you guys continue to um, to check on us because we love hearing from you guys. I know that we're not in Samoa right now, but um, well, we are right now, but by the time you guys see this, we won't be in Samoa anymore. But we hope you guys still check in because we love hearing from you guys too. Friends and family, we miss you. We'll see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute, Ammo. So Samoa experienced some incredible flooding a couple days ago, and so Samoa Airways has put us in the normal like exit of the airport so that we can check in, and everyone is doing all this handwriting work, and we really want to give a shout out to all the people that are working yeah. at Samoa. Yeah. Good work, good work, guys. I've been thinking of how to leave you. Just to leave you first I've been thinking of how to deceive you To make you leave me first My experience tells me that We'll see you soon. Okay, we are leaving Samoa, sadly. We have to wear these stupid masks. <laughs> you don't have to wear it. You don't? Rocky said you don't have to wear it, right, Evangeline? Yeah. Why am I wearing it then? No, thank you. Off comes the mask then. In America, we have to wear it. Okay. <laughs> In stupid America, we have to wear the mask. <laughs> but we're excited to be on the plane, finally. It's taken us a couple days to get on the plane. But we're leaving here momentarily, and hopefully we will be back in Samoa in a few months. In a few months. Okay, you guys talking. Anybody, um, we're here overnight. We're gonna 
stay in the airport. We leave for Sydney in the morning. I've been thinking of how to leave you Just to leave you first I think we just went through customs or something. But now we're going through this place called International Transfers. But we'll see where this takes us. This mess sucks. I'm so sorry for all of you that have had to do this for like a year. Blech. Gross. This is kind of fun. We never do these kinds of like camera tricks, if you will, but this is fun. I can't believe that we have this thing all to ourselves, this whole airport. Like we've been walking for like 10 minutes and there's nobody here. I mean, I get it, it's late, it's 10.30, but like nobody even to tell us where to go. But what I really want is to go to the bathroom. That's what I really want. And international transfers, here we are. Not a single person in sight. Oh, those people. What do you like about this place, this hotel? No armrests. That's the best hotel bed I've had ever. <laughs> Now I can breathe. <laughs> this is our camp for the night. The flight leaves at 10 o'clock in the morning. The lights aren't off, so it's gonna take a minute for us to fall asleep. All the girls are over there trying to work on the vending machines. The vending machines don't take coins. But if you put in like currency, you know, like paper money, then it spits out coins to you, but it won't accept coins. I love you, New Zealand, but those machines suck. This isn't gonna work. There you go. There you go. Flip over. <laughs> Move your head. So cool. Right next to Mama. Where are we at, Noli? Uh, New 
Zealand. New Zealand. Are we on the plane? What are we on? The bus. The bus. So they told us, okay, we have to take the bus to the plane. All families with young children come get on the bus first. So we did and another family. Then they said, oh, uh, there's some problem in Australia. So we're, um, we're not sure how long it's gonna take. Just wait here. And they closed the doors on the bus. So we're just sitting on the bus. <laughs> I think what they really thought was, oh, we just found out there's going to be a really long delay and we don't want to hear the kids complain or the families with kids complain, so let's stick them on a bus and shut the doors. So, just sitting here on the bus. <laughs> that Joe's time-lapsing. You'll see that in a second. The driver's in the, the bus right now, so hopefully we can be, oh, we're moving. Hopefully we can get on the plane soon. Oh my love, you're such a fragile thing, I know. And we well, we made it on the plane. But there aren't there aren't very many people on this plane. Look at all back there and on the side. Where are we going? I don't really know anymore. Sydney, Australia. And with the winter comes the ice, the snow. But I'm it all. No, my love. Worry about the cold just yet. The trees haven't started to shed. Just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed. Looks like we're going to be landing in Australia in a minute. Yeah, for Christmas, and we can't even do anything. <laughs> How long are we in Australia? I don't know, a couple hours? Less than an hour and a half. All right, we're coming up on Australia. We don't get to show you anything except what the island looks like. That'll have to be enough this time, but we'll come see you soon, Australia. By the bridge, behind the bridge. Oh, I see the bridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See the opera house? Oh, yeah. Right there. So I feel like we can say we've been to Australia. Because we saw the opera house with our eyes? Yeah, and the bridge. Oh, the bed. Story. 
So here we are. We have arrived. Where are we, Zaz? San Francisco, California. <laughs> San Francisco, California. It's 8 a.m. We have another plane to catch at 10. So we're kind of hustling so we can get through customs and then catch that plane from here to LA. Then what, babe? Then we get to go to Texas. <laughs> we just got on the plane. We're going to be leaving very soon. We are going to LA, then we're going to Texas, then flying to Florida on Wednesday, and then we're going to be driving to Michigan. And to realize that We are in LAX. Flights have been actually pretty awesome once we got on the plane. The kids have been fantastic. We're waiting a couple hours uh, and then we head to Dallas. We'll be back in Dallas by 7 p.m. tonight. Yay! almost three years this is weird <laughs> but I am excited and tired so extra excited because I want to move around and stay awake so this is gonna be great <laughs> <laughs> 